Hello everybody, this is Fluffy Travels again. Welcome back to my channel and for today I'll be reading some children's book stories that I have compiled and used to for my students. I used to be an online English teacher and also have shared this one with my other fellow teachers as well. So Let's begin. Story time. The Three Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who left their mother and their home in order to seek their own fortunes and to build their own houses. The three little pigs gathered materials for their houses. The first little pig chose to build his house from straw. The second little pig chose to build his house from sticks. And the third little pig chose to build his house from bricks. Suddenly, the big bad wolf came upon the first little pig's house. He knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. He knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, called the wolf. The little pig felt safe in his house, so he shouted, Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. The little pig escaped and ran to his brother's house of sticks. The wolf followed, excited that he might get to eat two little pigs. He knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he called, or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins, the two little pigs called back. The wolf huffed and puffed and he blew the house down. The two little pigs raced to their brother's house of bricks. The wolf followed them, and once he reached the house, he knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, or I'll huff and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Not by the hair on our chin chin chins. The three little pigs shouted back. The wolf huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow the house down. The wolf was really hungry and angry that he hadn't gobbled up any little pigs yet. He decided to climb down the chimney instead of blowing the house down. The three little pigs saw that the wolf was climbing up on the roof. They figured out that he could come down the chimney. So they lit a roaring fire and put a pot of water on top. Splash! The wolf came down the chimney, but he fell straight into the pot of boiling water. Yow! He roared as he leaped up and ran straight out of the house and far, far away. The three little pigs never had any trouble from him again, but all lived happily ever. The end. That's the end of the story of the three little pigs. Hope you liked it. Thank you for listening in, and have a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Fifty Travels for more stories in the future. Have a good day. God bless everybody.